Amen. Amen. How many know that today? Amen. That truly, amen. amen, truly he is a way maker. Well, one thing before I get into this message, my, my grandson Joshua uh, was hooking me up in, inside there and he marveled at Reverend Brandon put my desk back in order. Everything was, and Josh, he told me that last night, he said, Grandpa, if you went in there and didn't know it had been how it was, you wouldn't know that it had been touched. He said, it's amazing he knew where everything was. <laughs> and he said again today, the, the picture that was right here is right there for me and my wife. The picture that was right here is right there for me and my mother. The handkerchiefs that were right here are right back there. Uh, the other little bobs I had, they're right here. He, he, he's amazing. He got almost a photograph of mine. I've said that for years. But I mean, I almost, I looked at that, I said, dang. You know, he sits behind me, he used to sit behind it uh, all the time when I'm preaching, and he'd be feeding me more scripture. You know. <laughs> and I said, you got to be secure to have a guy helping you with your sermon. But I mean, I, I'm so blessed to have y'all. I'm so blessed. Amen. Amen. I'm blessed. That's why at my age I'm, I'm still going because of, of this, this wonderful church I, I've been given. Let's go to <clears throat> uh, uh, Isaiah 64, the 64th chapter of Isaiah. Isaiah 64. <clears throat> we, have, we have preached this before, and we always, when we preach it, we use the subject, what's missing in the church. But today, I, I want to I wanna look at it from a different view. Amen? So let's go 64, beginning at verse 1. It's, only, it's, it's 12 verses. I want to read all, all 12 of them. I'm not going to preach all of them, all right? All that thou wouldest rend the heavens that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. As when the melting fire burneth, the fire causeth the water to boil, and to make thy name known to thy adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. When thou didst terrible things which we looked not for, thou camest down, the mountains flowed down at thy presence. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither has seen, had the eye seen, O God, beside thee, what he hath prepared for him that waited for him. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of stopping here now. You know, this is the same one that has that, 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 that verse that we love so much, amen, uh, 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 in another chapter. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. He, he said, he said, what, uh, you just can't, you can't perceive by the ear, uh, 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 see by the eye, O oh God, beside thee, what he has prepared for him that waited for him. Amen. Amen. Thou meetest him that rejoices and worketh righteousness. Those that remember thee in thy ways, behold, thou art wroth, for we have sinned. In those is countenance, is countenance, and we shall be saved. Amen? But we are all as an unclean thing, and all of our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away, and there is none that calleth upon thy name that stirreth up himself. Amen? Amen? That stirreth up himself. Uh, let, let me stop right there for a minute. Amen. Sometimes you got to stir yourself. Amen. You got to stir yourself in the Lord. Stir yourself in the Word. Amen. Amen. When the devil is messing with you, amen, and come at you funny ways, amen, and try to steal your joy, amen, you got to learn to stir yourself. Amen. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see this when I was going over at home. Amen. So you got to stir yourself. Amen. 
Sometimes you got to stroke yourself, amen? You got to tell yourself you're all right. You got to tell yourself you look good. You don't need to find somebody to tell you you look good. You got to look in your mirror and say, I'm, I'm special, amen? If there was nobody but me, amen, Jesus would have come and died because he left the 99, amen, and went to look for that one lost sheep. I am special. I am somebody. I am one of a kind, amen? Oh, God, I feel like preaching this already. Amen. So let me say that again. There's none that calling upon thy name that stood up himself to take hold of thee. Amen. You got to stir up yourself and take hold of God. God is not going to always be there just to take hold of you. You got to sometimes say, uh, grab a hold of him. Amen. And say, I, 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 I'm going to, I was coming in with, I was coming in with Brian. Amen. Brother Brian Moby, glad to see him here today. He's like our son. He grew up in our church, amen. And I said, how you doing? He said, I'm holding on, amen. I told him, I said, well, don't turn loose, amen. And that's the thing, amen. You, you keep on holding on because God going to hold you, amen. Amen. If you turn loose, and it, it wasn't he turned to loose, if, if we turn to loose, amen. Amen. So, so there's none that stirs up himself, amen, and hold on of thee, for thou hast hid thy face from us and has consumed us because of our iniquity. But now, amen, but now, O oh Lord, tell, look, tell yourself, say, but now, thou art our Father, amen, but now, amen, after all this stuff, amen, thou art our Father, amen. And somewhere else in the Bible, he talked about if your earthly father will give you good things, amen, and he's flawed, think of what your heavenly father will do to you, for you, amen. But now, O oh Father, we are clay, amen, and thou art the potter. We are all the work of thy hand. Lord, you made us, amen. We just clay, amen. You know, you, you, we saw in the Bible where you was making that the potter was making the mold in the clay. And when the clay messed up, he just remolded it. Amen. In other words, Lord, we need some remolding. Amen, somebody. I like this, y'all. I may not get to preach what I was going to preach. Amen. Amen. Thou art the potter. We are the work of your hand. Be not wroth very so, O Lord, and neither remember iniquity forever. That's grace, y'all. God don't remember your stuff forever. If you come and ask him today to forgive you for whatever it is and go back tomorrow with it, he don't know what you're talking about. Amen. Your, your, your mate or your mama or your daddy or your sister or your brother or your neighbor or your workers might know, but God don't even know what you're talking about. The devil might know because he wants to throw it back at you. Amen. But there's now no condemnation. There's that word again. Now. There is now, it was yesterday, there is now no condemnation to those that are in the Lord. I ain't going to have to do much with this when I get to read the scripture. I'm like, amen. 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 Be not wroth very sore, Lord, neither remember iniquity forever. Amen. He don't remember. All you got to do, amen, is say, created me a clean heart like David. It's gone. Amen. Amen. Go and confess your sins. Amen. Amen. And he will cleanse us. Amen. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. We beseech you. We're your people. He said, Thy holy cities are wilderness. Oh, that sounds like that sounds like now. Amen. That sounds like now. I go through dating now. I mean, I'm going through dating now. I mean, I'm going through it. Amen. They might get me for speed, but I'm going through it. Amen. I used to come over here at night. Amen. I don't come over here now with my 357 Magnum, not my Glock, not, not my Glock, not, 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 my, not my Army carbine with the clip, not my, not my double barrel shotgun. I don't come with none of that. I speed through here at night because it's like a wilderness. Amen. The cities are like a wilderness. Amen. And now the suburbs are getting like a wilderness. Amen, somebody? Amen, somebody? Let, let, can I give y'all a little bit more of this here? Our holy and beautiful house. Our holy and beautiful house. Amen? Amen? Where our, where our fathers praise thee. Amen? He ain't talking about my house over there. Amen? He talking about this house. Our holy and beautiful house where our fathers praise thee is burned up with fire. Amen? Amen. The Holy Ghost bring fire, but the devil bring fire too. Amen. And our present things are laid waste. Our present stuff, our present things are just laid waste. Amen, somebody? My God. Amen. I tried not to preach this. I was up, to, I was up, I was up uh, to late last night trying to change the sermon. And I had this all week. Praise God. Will thou refrain thyself from these things, O Lord? Will thou hold thy peace and afflict us sore? Amen. 
Amen. Y'all want a subject? I'm going to call it Isaiah's prayer. This is a prayer. Amen. This, 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 this is a prayer. Amen. When you, when you look, when you look over, over in the, uh, in the, in the, uh, in the 63rd chapter, we're in 64. When you look at 63 and, and, and you look at that, that 15th verse, he says, look down from heaven and behold from the habitation of thy holiness and of thy glory, where is thy zeal and thy strength? Amen. He said, look, Lord, will you please look down from heaven? Amen. But now, amen, he gone from look down in, in, in chapter 63 to come down in chapter 64 where we are today. Oh, that thou would rend the heavens. Amen. Amen. And come down. Amen. Amen. In other words, amen, this thing is he's, he's intensifying the prayer. Amen. You ought to learn to intensify your prayer. What you was asking last year, amen, or asking uh, uh, 10 years ago, you ought to be at a level now where there's an intensification of your prayer. Amen. Amen. There was a time I come in a place and somebody broke in something of mine and tore it up. Amen. I'd be mad, want to go find somebody, want to, want to, want to whoop out my magnum on somebody or, or do something stupid. Amen. But now as, as the intensification of prayer comes, there's an intensification of faith. Amen. And you learn to walk by faith and not by sight. And you learn that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And so you just start praising God for what he's getting ready to do. Amen. Amen. You can praise him for what he's done, but amen, it's good to know he ain't through yet. And you learn to praise him. I thank you for what you're getting ready to do. Amen. I thank you for what you did yesterday. Amen. But I thank you for what you're doing today. But I thank you for what you got waiting for me in tomorrow because your name is I am. You never was I was and you never was I will be. Wherever you are, amen, wherever I am, you're already there. Great glory to God. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. So, 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 so here we got, here we got God uh, 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 coming down. Amen. In other words, he's, he's, he, 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 he's asking, he, he's, he's seeing an open heaven. He looked down. Now he wanted them to come down. Amen. You see, the, the, the open heaven, when you start thinking about an open heaven where God's going up and down. Amen. Then you come up to the New Testament and remember that that's how we have the power and the presence of God now. He was asking God for his presence and his power. Amen. And then, then, then we start remembering how Jesus, amen. Oh, when he got ready to leave, amen, went through the heavens, amen, the first, amen, and the second heaven to the third heaven where God is, amen. He went through the, the first heaven, amen, that, that, that celestial heaven. He went through that second heaven on, on, on out there, amen, where the, where, the, where the stars are, amen, amen. He went through that, 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 that first part where the Bible says Satan rules, amen. Amen. Ephesians talk about the principalities and the powers and so forth. It gives the demonic hierarchy. Amen. As you keep moving up through that, Jesus went through the, the, all the devil stuff, the God of this world that Adam handed to him when he handed him the key to the kingdom. Amen. That's why Satan is called the God of this world because Adam gave away the least. Amen. He had it. Amen. But he gave it away. Jesus came and took it back. Amen. And handed it to the church and say, I give you the keys to the kingdom. What you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. What you Don't worry about it. I, I, I got it covered, y'all. Amen. I'm all over. I got it covered. Amen. What you bind in, uh, on earth is bound in heaven. That's why we're not getting rid of much stuff. Amen. Because we're going to church and the preachers are scared to tell us to bind the devil and loose the devil and lay hands on folk, amen, and watch them fall out, amen, under the power and the unction of the Holy Ghost, amen, and get a word of knowledge, amen, amen, like I did when, when Sister Hill had that thing way back, and I said God was going to heal that broke leg, amen, because she couldn't walk on the crutches, I said, oops, what am I saying, amen, but she did, amen, when she went to the doctor, the broke leg was fixed, amen, that was the first time getting a word of knowledge, so when the folk came down here, that busload 
road from Ithaca when they were seeing all the miracles. Up there they saw me lay hands on this white lady in the white suit and she fell out. Amen. I, amen. You know what? Because I was going, I was going into the works of the Spirit, see? Amen. And I, I wasn't used to that because I had never seen that. Amen. You know, like when I went into Good Sam Hospital and Terry Jr. told about the lady with the demons and they, they got cast out. We didn't know nothing about that, see, because I hadn't heard it preached, amen. But so when you start walking in the Spirit, amen, then you start realizing there is another level. Amen. And this is what this is what we're seeing. I mean, I don't have this on these papers, y'all. I just gotta let go with the flow. Amen. And, and, and so this is what's happening with Amen with the look down and the come down. Amen. When Jesus went up through there, the devil couldn't do nothing. Amen. Because he let him know, I can, I can go up and down in your kingdom whenever I get ready, because I've taken it back and given it to the church. But the church don't want to use the keys. Amen. And then Jesus said, Not only can I go up, amen, but when I go up. There is no presence, and if there is no presence, there's no power. Amen. amen. So I'm going up. Amen. But the Holy Ghost is going to come down. And the Holy Ghost is God. Amen. amen. That's three, that's three in the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Now the Holy Ghost has come because you gotta have my presence to have my power. Amen, somebody. So the open heaven let Jesus up, and while it was open, he sent him down. That's why he said in John 14, greater works you will do. Then I did. Why? Because I'm operating as the son of man. I'm the son of God, but I put divinity in obedience because man had to die. That's why he had to have the anointing, amen, before he could do any miracles. He did no miracles until he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me. Amen. He has anointed me. To preach the gospel, amen, and the anointing will break the yoke. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. Josh, I want to buy one of these tapes, see? Eh? I like this. I'm a, I, want, I want one of these, amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. <laughs> so, 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 see, God said, not by power, nor by might, but by my spirit, say the Lord. Amen. You, want the, you, you, you don't want the power without the spirit. Because if you don't have the spirit, it ain't God's power. Who will say that? I'm trying to find where I can go on here and give y'all a little bit off of this paper. <laughs> yeah, now, 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 you got to understand, the, uh, 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 Isaiah has gone to another level. So when you go to the fifth chapter of, of, of Isaiah, if you all remember, one of my favorite, my first sermon I ever preached as pastor was from Isaiah, the, the sixth chapter. Amen. Amen. You, 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 you remember that? Amen. In the year that Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord. I saw him high. I saw him lifted up. Amen. Because he'd been looking at Uzziah. Amen. And we look at the Uzziahs in our life. We get wrapped up in what's, what looked good down here. Amen. And everything that looked good to you ain't good for you. Amen, somebody. And he got wrapped up in Uzziah. Amen. But then we, 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 we saw in the fifth chapter, do you remember, he was warning everybody. He was a warning preacher. He was sending everybody to hell. Y'all ever been in a church where the preacher sent everybody to hell? Amen. Amen. Everybody but him. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He sent everybody else to hell. Amen. Amen. Uh, and the certain thing he didn't is he don't preach. You know, yeah, because he'd be walking on himself. I, I, I've done that for years. I preach everything. You're going to never say, well, uh, that, was, that must be what Reverend Hill is doing. No, I beat the hell out of me too. I'll walk on me sometimes. Sometimes I'm going to get the phone number, I mean the license plate for that truck that ran over me when I was preaching. I was committing suicide with that message. I said, God, I told the Lord, Lord, you beat the hell out of me today. Good night. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes I'm working on something. You ever worked on something? You said, wait a minute. I got to stop, Lord. Because this thing is getting me so. I need to get me straight with you before I can go in there and get my folks straight. Well, Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's what Isaiah did. He warned everybody in that fifth chapter. Woe is y'all. He warned everybody. I think it was seven years old. But when he come right over to that next chapter, he said, woe is me. 
God and God said, oh, it's not about you getting the vision now. He said, whoa, it's me. Amen. I'm undone. I'm a man of unclean lips. Ooh, oh, 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 yo, there's something wrong with your lips too, huh? Yeah, I'm a man of unclean lips, and I dwell among folk with unclean lips. That's all right. Get you lost before you get your folk lost. And then get everybody, get everybody together, amen? And we're all coming up, amen? Amen? We all find out you be able, amen? Amen? We ain't going to talk that stuff that he bonded, them jokers saw that didn't cross over and get the blessing. We be not able. You be not able, you're going to get what you say. But Joshua and Caleb said, we be able. Now, y'all used to this here. Y'all look at TV and they go to one store, amen? All, all, all them love stores, amen? All them folks. That one guy been on there forever. I don't know how he keep looking like that. I wish I knew. I'd, I'd find out so I'd work on me a little bit. Amen? Y'all know what I'm saying. But, but here back to, uh, back, back, back to Isaiah. He said, woe is me. Amen? And then he, 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 start, he said that when he started looking at God. Amen? And then he started to see God in his holiness. Amen? Amen? He started seeing God. Amen? Then, then he sensed God. He got a sense for who he was. And then he began to look at himself, amen. And when he began to look at himself, the angels, you know, took that fire off, amen, the Holy Ghost, amen. Y'all know the Holy Ghost, amen. Amen. Took that fire off the altar and come down and started touching him, amen. Made him start, made, changed the way he spoke, amen. See, you got, you got, if you, if, if, if you, go, you go go in the Lord, see, he's grown now, amen. He's grown over here in this 64th, amen. Amen, because he was the guy who said in that sixth chapter, amen, when God said, who will I send and who will go for me? He was ready then. Amen, you got, you got to keep coming into the presence of God, amen, and seeing yourself as God see you, amen, amen, see yourself as God see you. Don't see yourself as, as you see you or somebody else see you. See yourself as God see you. Amen. High and lifted up. Amen. See the glory of God. Amen. Know that God will come down and see about you. That's what he's saying now. Will you just come down and just see about me? Amen. Amen. I need you. Amen. And, 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 and he said, who will I go? And who, will, who, who, who can I send? Amen. He said, here am I. Send me. Amen. And so that's why he, he began in, in, this, in this prayer. Woo, good night. This is the intro, y'all. Amen. I got about five minutes for the rest of the sermon. In this prayer, he started looking, amen, at the need. Amen. He started looking at verse five. Verse, verse five. We are sinned. Verse 6 said, Our righteousness are the filthy rag. Verse 7 said, Thou hast hid thy face from us. He went on to say, Thy holy cities are wilderness, and, and, our, and, our, and our house where our father prays is burned up with fire. Amen. He said, We need you, Lord. Amen. We need you. We can't do it without you. Amen. We can't do it without you. Amen. You have come down once, you come down twice, you come down many times. Amen. Amen. But we need you. Amen. The nations, when you came, tremble, verse 2. Amen. It meant they were affected by your, by your presence. Amen. And he, so he asked God, say, I want you to just look down and then come down. Amen. Because I know you can come down. Amen. You come down before. Amen. And we ask you to do it again. Amen. Amen. Anybody ever known a period in your life when you knew God had come down? Amen. If he come down once, he'll do it again. I know he'll come down. Amen. I saw us with uh, Stella. I saw us when we was getting a hundred dollars a week and didn't have didn't have a, had twenty something folk active. We saw him come down in seven years. Amen. Amen. Definitely. Amen. Then we see him come down. We saw a thousand kids get saved off of ten buses. Amen. How is a church that didn't have much money got ten buses? How do they have uh, three different radio broadcasts? How does folk like Maceo Woods come through? They stop at our church. How did James Cleveland, the greatest gospel singer ever, stop at our church and sit over my house on 2nd Street eating green beans and skins. Amen. How did the Clark sisters come through? Amen. Amen. How did they come through? Amen. That was something special. Amen. Amen. How did Isaac Douglas tell little Abraham, amen, the only way I can come to you is you got to call Reverend Hill and see if Reverend Hill want me to come because I don't come into Ohio except through Reverend Hill. Amen. How did he come in uh, winning Grammy Awards when we was leaving the church on our last Sunday? So I just want to be with y'all. Amen. Because that was something special.
natural going on. Amen. And then we come over here. We don't have a church. Amen. We end up getting the church for the folk who brought us in because they couldn't keep their church going. Amen, somebody. And we start a college ministry. 980 some kids at Simpson State get saved. Amen. On a new church. Amen. I can keep calling the roll what God has already done. Back at First Western. Amen. When I had spinal meningitis and St. Louis encephalitis at the same time. Was supposed to be dead. Here I am. 86. Amen. Do it again. Do it again. Hey, do it again. We need a ramp on the church. Amen, somebody. And the bathrooms are falling off. Amen. We say we just wish we could fix them. Amen. And the next thing you know, God puts us in a church with zero in the building fund. Do it again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He had seen him come down. He had seen him come down. He had seen him come down. He read how he came down at Exodus. Amen, somebody. Amen. When the, and stood on the mountain to talk to the people. Amen. And the whole mountain quake. Amen. He, he heard about David. Amen. David said in the Psalm 18, Amen. Amen, somebody. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundation also. The hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth. He bowed the heavens also. Came down and darkened under his feet. And this is my favorite, one of my favorite verses. Y'all have heard me use it so many times. And he rolled, verse, 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 verse 10, he rolled upon the cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. Amen. Are y'all hearing me, somebody? Amen. The mountains, amen, represent that which is firm. Amen. And solid upon the face of the earth. Amen. If the mountains quake and melt at the presence of God. Amen. Think about what kind of power and might he possesses. Amen. He, he's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. In verse 2, he talks about the melting fire that burneth. Amen. The melting fire that burneth. Amen. It means the mountains are powerless. Amen. To mess with Jehovah God. Amen. Just like the brushwood and the water cannot resist burning fire. Amen. What can resist God? When you look out in California and watch the fires being consuming brushwood and consuming houses and consuming everything, it's like comparing the, the power of God. Amen, somebody? Amen. And he's, he's, telling, he's telling God, we need a manifestation of your presence like it was. Amen. Back there in all those days that I was talking about. We need a manifestation right now. Amen. Amen. Like Isaiah was talking about. Amen. Amen, somebody. And, and we, I can just keep on going. Elijah saw the manifestation. Amen. When the fire came down. Uh, amen. And consumed uh, 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 the, 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 the things he was presenting before the enemies of God and the prophets of Baal. Amen, somebody. Amos saw, saw God standing upon a wall with a plumb line in his hand. And Amos was a, was a nobody. Amen. A humble man, a herdsman. Amen. God called him to be a prophet. Amen. Moses saw the fire of God in a burning bush. Amen. And God came and sent him out to liberate his people. Amen, somebody. Martin Luther King saw him. Amen. Amen, somebody. He saw him. Amen. I wrote a few things from his speech. Like anybody, I'd like to live a long life. Amen. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about uh, 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 that now. I just want to do God's will. And I'm so happy tonight. I'm not worried. Mm. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. I've been to the mountaintop. And my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. I dare you, I dare you, I dare you, I double dog dare you to trust him and to try him. Amen, somebody? Amen, somebody? Amen, somebody? That Samaritan woman saw him in John 4. Amen, somebody? When Jesus started talking to her about this living water. Amen, somebody? He said that water is going to be in you. In you. That's the spirit. In you. Amen. That water is going to be uh, in you. Amen. A uh, living water. Amen. That will come up in you and you won't have to go to this well outside because there's going to be a well on the inside. And the woman said, give me some of that. And she ran downtown telling folks, come see a man that told me everything 
that I had done. Amen, somebody. So we ought to believe God. Amen, somebody. We ought to believe God and pray that the mountains of unbelief, the mountains of fear, will be leveled to the ground. And the mighty mountains of faith will ascend and replace them. Let us pray that the mountains of jealousy, the mountains of envy, the mountains of misery, the mountains of blame be blasted into oblivion. And the mountains of brotherly love will arise and be blessed and be beautiful. Let us pray that the mountains of disloyalty will flow down and the mountains of loyalty will flow up in this church. And his presence will be a sweet smelling savour. Can I get a witness somebody? Let's pray that the mountains of rebellion, the mountains of selfishness, the mountains of stinginess, amen somebody, will be placed by the mountains of humility. And we can say it like the prophet said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, don't wait for God to humble you. You don't want God to have to humble you. But humble yourself, pray, and seek my face. Then will I hear from heaven. Then will I forgive your sin. Let the mountains of carnality, let the mountains of bigotry, let the mountains of anger, let the mountains of laziness be shocked and smitten and submerged by the power of heaven. Can I get a witness somebody? And ask God to let a new fire burn, the fire of the Holy Ghost, not only born in us, but fall upon us and ignite us to another level that we can say, Lord, here am I. If you want me to go, I'll go. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Where you want me to go, I'll do. Where you want me to do, I'll Ah, uh -huh. oh God, I, I feel like preaching today. I feel like preaching today. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Whoo. We need a demonstration of the power. We need intercession for the power. We need submission to the potter because we're just a clay. We need to tell the remolders. Remolders, 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 remolders. Remold me individually, remold me as a husband, remold me as a wife, remold me as a parent, remold me, remold me, remold me, remold me, remold me. Amen? God bless you. All the glory. Oh, all the glory. All the glory. All the glory. Amen. Expect to see the results of his presence. Amen. Expect to see it. He said the mountains flowed down at thy presence. What his presence does, it dissolves difficulty. The mountains were there, but they flowed down. There's a dissolving of our difficulties in the presence of God. There's a dissolving, there's a resurrection of our joy, amen? The, the, the difficulties always come be, before resurrection. Difficulties come before resurrection, amen? Before he can lift up sometime, we gotta be pulled down. All the glory, all the glory, all the glory. And then when you come back up, 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 God begins to get the glory. For when how did they make it? Amen. How did they make it? I thought they were finished. How did they make it? Amen. I remember, I remember 40 something years ago when we lost First Western. We lost everything. In the meetings, uh, uh, some, of the, some of the preachers, some of the guys, some of the big guys were saying, Hill is dead. He is all finished. Amen. Amen. All finished. Talking about an independent Bible church. What kind of church is that? 
They didn't even call y'all. They call y'all the hill crowd. All the glory. All the glory. All of your presence. We your temple. Give you reverence. Come and rise from your rest and be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace Inshallah. oh hell as your presence as your presence as your presence as your presence Mille la 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 mo ho di esta as your presence push la la as your presence now 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 fill us fill us fill us fill us fill us Oh, the glory. This is your day. Don't let it pass you. Don't let it pass you. Don't let it pass you. You need to come today. This is your day for a miracle. This is your day for a special blessing. This is a day where you get out of self. And say it's you, Lord. It's you, Lord. It's not me. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's not, not, not about me. It's about you, Lord. I need a miracle. I need a blessing. I, I, first of all, I need, I need, I, I, I got a confession. You don't have to make it to us. Make it to God while you're walking down that aisle. Mold me, mold me, mold me. Fill me. Bless me, save me. Right now, you ought to come. Is there one? We live in a time where folk keep on hearing it and keep ignoring it. You don't see folk running down the aisle 
yielding. You don't see folk coming out now crying. Amen? Repenting. Amen? We're making excuses, but we're not repenting and coming up to that level where God can pour out the blessings on us. Are you here now? Are you here now? Are you here now? God bless you. Give you rain ever. Mm. I can't believe the devil tried to make me not preach this today. From your rain mm. and be blessed by praise as we go. In your embrace, mm. as your praise, say that again, as your praise, one more time. Now feel this pray, this pray, this pray. Give God a friend. Give God a hand clap of praise today. Now, now take take this word home with you. You gotta start. You gotta start taking that word home with you. You gotta chew on it and meditate on it all week and keep studying it. Amen. And watch what God's gonna do every day, morning and night. Meditate on His word. Don't just read it. Meditate on it. Let God talk to you when you're doing it. Chew on it. Amen? Amen. And, and, and something gonna happen, something gonna happen, something gonna happen. Something get ready, something get ready to happen. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care how, how, how it look, how many it is, something get ready to happen. Yeah. Amen? <laughs> oh, glory. Ooh. Ooh, I could have preached that about another hour, y'all. I need to go somewhere and preach that one out. Amen. <laughs> All minds are clear now? Let's remember everything. Uh, in our announcements, all those on our sick and healing list, amen, our prayer and healing list, let's get ready to go home, let's stand. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Yes. This is a day that you have made. I said that to you when I stepped out of bed this morning, I said it to you every morning, but I've said it before the church. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Bless us as we leave this place today. Let us feel a special visitation of the Holy Spirit today. Keep your angels around these thy people. Bless their steps and direct their steps. Let them know, dear Lord, that earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. I don't care how old they are, let them know that there are better days ahead. They came in here feeling like they couldn't make it. Let them leave saying, I feel like going on. What shall it? Let them, let them leave here say, I feel like going on. There may be some trials on every hand. But they only come to make us strong. Ultimately, we're more than conquerors, not just conquerors, but more than. There's another level. Let us reach out for that now. Let us keep saying it's not about me. It's all about you, Lord. 
If we seek ye first, all everything else will come. Bless our homes, bless our jobs, protect us from any virus or whatever is lurking out there that you didn't send. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Satan, you're a thief and a liar, but we have authority over you. We order you to take your hands off of the people of God. Take your hands off of their children. Take your hands out of their home. Take your hands out of their home. Take your hands off of our church in any way you try to put on it. In the name of Jesus, we order this. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God bless you and I love you.